I always wanted to have a t-shirt since I was really young. It was just a strange, like, childish ambition of mine that I always wanted to own a t-shirt. I've been friends with Tim for a while now, and as long as I've known Tim, he's always wanted to open a tea shop, and I really like tea too. We were having a coffee upstairs in the cafe and saw there's like a, a basement shop to rent, and the rent wasn't unachievably high, so we thought we might as well try to do it properly and like have a gallery as well, which is something else we wanted to do, so just combine thoughts and do something. We also have a lot of other things going on and we try to do different events so live music has been one thing, a film night uh, that we do sort of every fortnight, um, that's another side of it. I think there's something quite nice about it, something very relaxed and yeah people just put into somewhere they don't usually expect to find around here, something like that makes them think twice about what they usually go into or some people just are happy to not be in Starbucks, if you know what I mean. It's a bit of a blurry line because um, a lot of the people who come in are our friends and because we serve tea and tea is the sort of thing that you'd offer someone when they come into your house, when you offer your friend a cup of tea it's almost hard to take payment for the cup of tea because it's kind of like, hey do you want a cup of tea like you would if someone's in your living room. So. That's kind of a positive and negative side to it, I guess, because it's so cosy at Tea Cosy. I think there is a need for somewhere for students to show their work because there's a big art community and there's a lot of galleries for established or older artists but somewhere for students to have solo shows that aren't in a kind of more commercial context that somewhere they can have real ownership of their, of their show. We have really good teas that we put a lot of effort into choosing and they're from a really like, I don't know what, ethical source, I guess is the word, so well-paid tea pickers. Well, we chose Sri Lankan tea because I, I've i lived in Sri Lanka and uh, so therefore had a sort of link to the country um, and Sri Lanka's famous for having high quality tea. Type of tea is called broken orange pico. According to where it's grown there's different types of tea so you'll have teas from different estates in Sri Lanka which is where we get our tea. Tim comes across as a very, very funny guy, good sense of humour, uh, very enthusiastic and, uh, you know, has been a really good driving force for everything that's been going on here. Um, good, with, uh, good with a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's really helpful. <laughs> she's cool, she, like, she, she actually wanted to do it, <laughs> which is good. Uh, yeah, just quite enthusiastic about everything, which is a good quality. I think we've felt the challenges of um, in relation to the economy probably since we opened, but this is the first business I've ever run, so I don't really know what to compare it to. But um, we've definitely felt the difference from before and after Christmas in people have been less willing to spend money after Christmas. It's only since doing it that we've kind of realised what a tough situation we've jumped into because it is hard at the moment for all local businesses and small businesses. We want to keep going as we have uh, and 
get more artists interested in exhibiting their work, uh, hopefully get more local artists to exhibit their work and kind of want to involve more of the community, more of East Dulwich or like the surrounding area and uh, get people inter interested in sort of making use of the space. I don't think we really realised how much we could do with the space and that's come from people suggesting things. It proves that it, it works as a sort of community space and we want that to continue. Thank you.